Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. This week we are very happy to learn that the FDA has approved corneal collagen crosslinking. If you look back at A State of Sight, it was about four years ago where we did an episode on it earlier explaining more details and we'll put the link below. But We've been waiting for many years for this FDA approval, so hopefully this procedure will be now more widely available. Uh, this is a great procedure. It is used for patients that have keratoconus or other forms of corneal ectasia where the cornea, the clear shield in the front of the eye, distorts from its natural shape, which should be nice and round. This is done by using riboflavin, which is vitamin B2, soaking it through the cornea and then applying a UV light. With this method, the collagen fibers which are in the cornea can then become linked together, become more stiff and more stable. With keratoconus, this has shown great results in order to slow or stop the progression because often this gets worse and worse, especially when patients are younger. And with it, many people can avoid going to a corneal transplant, which may be needed for keratoconus, and they may be able to continue wearing glasses or contact lenses to correct their vision. Now that it's FDA approved, we'll have to wait next for insurance companies to start covering the procedure, which will also make it more available, and then for more doctors and surgeons to be start performing the procedure so it can be available in more places. Up until this point now, it's only been available through FDA studies or in other locations uh, used outside of the FDA approval. Uh, the procedure with the original design takes about 30 minutes of the UV light exposure after the cornea has, get, has been soaked with the riboflavin. But in the future, they're working on using a stronger, more intense light in order to decrease the treatment time and to make it quicker and more efficient. Uh, other variations on the procedure are if the epithelium or the surface layers of the cornea are removed or not removed. We look, it looks like there can be a quicker healing time. If the riboflavin can be soaked into the cornea without removing the epithelium, but they need to make sure that this is just as effective as the original method. So we're very happy that this is now approved. If you have any questions about it or if you have keratoconus and wonder more, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.